guys and welcome back to part two of the Midnight Hollow legacy I have here. These two are just getting up for some cereal. She is pregnant due to last night's adventures in the sheets. So hopefully within this episode she'll start showing and she'll get really big. I don't know if she'll actually have the baby or not, but she will at least become ah, humongous. I was thinking about it, and I think I'm going to have each kid be really unique compared to any of the kids that I've ever had before. Typically, I just do, like, basic, easy-to-take-care-of babies who are just, you know, friendly and easily amused or something. And I think all of three of their kids are going to be very different so one of them i want to be like a really mean like give him all the or her all the really like rude mean traits and another one i thought about giving like all the crazy traits too like insane and inappropriate and unstable so that we have like a crazy sim and then like one kid will be normal and like the, the better kid in the family, I guess. I'm gonna have her come over here and tend her garden. I don't know how long she'll do that though because she's about to puke. I'll have him work out a little bit before work, even though he won't go to work today because it is leisure day. I really hate holidays almost because it's like my sims need money more than they need a holiday. Like why why do you need time off? Why can't you just work all the time every day? Like never not work. My sims are still very convinced that it's winter time. He, like, wanted to go skating on an ice pond, and now he wants to build a snowman. So, you know, hey. What ifs? We can maybe build a grass man with some sticks. I kind of want to try that now. But there's a huge snowstorm supposed to be coming, so I guess I'll just actually stick with a snowman in real life. He did it! I guess if he doesn't have to go to work today, we'll see if he can fulfill these two wants here to work out until he's fatigued and to work out for four hours straight. We'll just let him keep going with that. Snowman's not going to happen, buddy. It's just not going to happen. Just give up on that hope. There is no way she's going to finish her garden before she goes and pukes everywhere. No way. Come on now, just weed the plant. <sighs> now it's like all the weeding that she just did is in reverse. All those weeds just like hopped right back in. The carpool will come for Duncan in an hour. I think when I switch the seasons, maybe he does have work today and it's not really leisure day. My game just thinks it's leisure day. I just don't understand why it's freaking out so bad. You are not going to read. You still need to come do stuff. Do that. Go, go. I also think I'm going to have them like hire a maid because their house is really big and I don't feel like cleaning it. So we're going to hire them a maid to take care of all that. Cleaning the kids potty chairs and picking up dirty dishes all that good stuff and hopefully we don't get one of those crap ones who just don't do anything hmm. she has some stuff in her inventory maybe maybe we should plant some more so he does have work today So get on it. 
Go be a breadwinner. Make mama proud. It's the best I got for you. So we'll let her go use the bathroom. Hire a maid. Then we're gonna plant one of these things. The mandrake. Every time I see that, I think of Harry Potter. I really do. Every time. Plant a midnight bean. I am pretty for sure that's a tree. If not, I'm totally just ruined everything that I live for here. By the way, I'm getting it in a specific place. Like, um... When I try to plant, it will only let me plant kind of on either side of this row. It won't let me actually plant in the row. But if you hold down Alt, it will let you do it outside of the grid markings. So you can kind of place anything anywhere. Also, if you're trying to rotate something and you want it just slightly rotated or something, you can hold down Alt and it'll give you a complete 360 rotate system instead of just certain places. So it helps like saving room. Also, if you have the move objects on cheat, it'll help with that as well. Cleaning your house would be my pleasure. I'll be there in no time to get it cleaner than it ever has been before. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Or madam. I don't know who you are. Dreams of Jerome. Sounds like a very inspiring book. I actually have quite a few books in here. Hymn of Festive Stone. Abstract with Turkey. Hmm. Hell's Bellhop. That looks interesting. So we got a cooking book. We may need to have her read that because she can't cook with her crap. <gasps> Squares are not triangles. That's actually an intelligent book for babies. Interesting. Anyway, we're going to have her come and she's kind of grimy, but whatever. She's going to continue writing The Future Spy, which is a name we did not creatively come up with. But hey, what else? I really like this painting. I think this painting is really, really freaking cute. And uh, we're just going to fast forward through this. Speed typing. She got paid $15. Her simoleons. Improved her gardening. And Duncan has enough lifetime happiness points to make a purchase. Not one that matters, though. I think we'll have him come over and... Rommel to the leader. He should probably get to know his boss a little bit better. That's what I'm thinking. So that's enough writing for the day. I'm going to have her come and serve some autumn salad because, you know, you can't burn autumn salad. It makes me so mad when Sims like burn their food. I'm just like, why can't you just make mac and cheese? Like you just boil water and you put the noodles in there. And then when they're soft, you just put cheese in it. Like I was cooking mac and cheese when I was seven. Come on now. Uh, sure, we will read this book. He will definitely be getting a promotion today, so that's exciting. Because we need more money. You make that salad, girl.
Let's see if I can come grab a plate now. Do not think the maid is still here, but our house really wasn't dirty when he came over. Ooh, got the yawn still this morning. Let's see. He'll be off work in just a few minutes and he'll come on home. I'll probably want two more of these. But uh, he's almost there. Like, his athletic oh, yeah. ability its really good. He's like a werewolf kid. Seriously, I had a werewolf teenager one time. And he was athletic. And he gained level 10 in athletic skill in like three sim days. It was ridiculous. And then one time, I guess it was a game glitch, I had a vampire child, and I gave her an easel, and she gained a level 10 painting skill on one painting. And then she painted the sim version of Mona Lisa. Blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. <gasps> Congratulations, Duncan's impressive performance has earned him a promotion to cut purse as well as a bonus of 408 simoleons the score gets a little bigger for the cut purse but so does the risks you'll need to start working out to improve your chances of getting away if seen at the scene after all it's never quite as easy as taking candy from a baby if he did that i would have to beat him up Oh, bless me, guys. I'm having some allergy problems this morning. I blame it on the weather and its constant changing behaviors. Yesterday, it was like 67 degrees. Today, we're expecting a blizzard. If you can't guess where I'm from, just look up the most erratic weather patterns. You'll probably figure it out. Plus my slight accent probably. Probably doesn't help much with that either. Good evening. Good sir Duncan. His athletic skill is still good for work. So maybe if we read this book. And then he works hard at work tomorrow. We can get a promotion. Maybe. I'm gonna have her come up here. Then maybe she'll throw up in this toilet is what I'm hoping. And then we'll get her to just take a bath. Take it easy. And we're gonna have him come and read this book. Come on now. Just, just puke. But not, not on the stairs. Not on the stairs. We don't want people slipping and sliding. All over the place. Okay, just run to the toilet that is farther down the hall. That makes sense. That makes so much sense. I have vomit in my mouth, and I'm gonna run to a farther toilet. I really don't understand Sims sometimes. The last Sim that I had on my personal Let's Play who got pregnant, she would just puke in random places. I mean, there were, there was a toilet in the house for her to puke in, but she always chose to puke on the floor or outside, like just wherever she was. That's where she puked. Oh, she's like, honey, let's play video games like we did yesterday. How sweet. I will let this happen. Yes, I will. Get on them video games. Yo, no. uh, go. No. Uh. It looks like that sim animal game that they had out a while back. And now we're playing Grand Theft Auto. 
Wouldn't it be nice if console games actually switched games that fast? That would be freaking awesome. Just saying. Let's look at their gamer faces. She is like really getting into it. She's like, take that. Yeah, take that. And he's just happy to be there. Being a criminal all day doesn't make him very comfy. But uh, I think I'm going to fast forward this next part and um, I will have the game going again just as soon as they get up and maybe eat breakfast because it's kind of boring to watch too. So we will be right back. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So last night, Stella here found out that she was pregnant. So she will now be wearing interesting outfits. My favorite. I think we're going to have her like uh, go out on the town tonight. So you all can kind of see what the Midnight Hollow looks like. And maybe we can get her some friends because she doesn't know anybody. And everybody needs some friends. So. We're going to have her take care of her garden here really quick. And then we will go to see if we can't meet some people. He is playing with the mirror up here. He's like, what's up? Ah, I did give him the child a straight, so that is why he's doing this. Just uh, acting like a... Well, like a human. I would like to think that we all do that every now and then. Act a little silly in the mirror. But I'll have him come work out again because, well, he has to keep up his athletic skill. I like to try and keep it one above, usually. The... I don't know what word I'm looking for here. The requirement. There we go. Because it just makes life e easier. Kid. Like with kid sims, usually I'll try and figure out like how I want to play them when they get into adults. That way, in their kid years, I can, in teen years, I can go ahead and have them gain levels for whatever it is that they may do. So we're just going to fast forward this part. Nobody wants to see her water some plants. You can watch him like fast forward pine fly. And... Sorry, don't bring a sweat. That's what he's doing. But it's time for him to go to work. So he's got to get up off of that and go to work. And he has almost got level five. That makes me very excited. I'm gonna go into buy mode really quick and buy a shower for down here because I'm tired of them having to like run upstairs, two flights of stairs every time they need a shower. Just kind of tired of it. So I'll have her come take a shower and um, I guess not use the toilet because, well, it's clogged because she clogged it. Newspapers. I actually like to read those. Like have my sim read them. It's kind of funny sometimes what the town is up to. The precarious pub. That. Um, is one of the youth businesses. I think once they save up quite a bit of money. Because it's going to take quite a bit of money. Over the next few generations, we're going to start building our own store. 
for them to kind of operate and it'll be like a family business. It'll be interesting anyway. Something different. Gloomy garden. Sounds like a, a happy place. Maybe? I don't know. Well. Let's have her come over here. To the park. Aw, little baby bump. <laughs> that makes me so excited. By the way, her and Duncan both want to have a girl. Which means that they'll probably have a boy. I have the worst luck with that. When my sims want a specific gender, it never happens. Like, ever. But this may be the time where... It does. So we're just gonna hope. Alrighty, so we got Jennifer Doe here. Here's Olive Spectre. She's an interesting looking lady. Jake Lynn, who I'm thinking is probably a vampire because he's kind of glowy. Some pretty butterflies over here. She's already talking to somebody. Oh, okay. It's a glowy dude. Who has interesting hair back here. She's like, I'm pregnant. I don't know you. Oh, well, now she's going to talk to somebody else. Kara Carter. Who is also glowy. Maybe there's like a radiation thing going on. She is precious. I can honestly say playing in this town as my actual like playing sims. They have really pretty like NPCs. I really actually like the townies that EA has put into this game. Because they're cute and they're different. I think they're neat. So this guy's gonna scare us. That's not very nice. So we're gonna like turn around and give him a mean high five. Because that was just uncalled for. There's a lot of fairies in this town. I'm just saying. A lot of fairies. Maybe we should make our sim a fairy. <laughs> She's like, screw you, buddy. I am not putting up with your rudeness. It's just not happening. I'm gonna have her come over here and tell a joke to this person because I'm tired of this guy's sassiness. He's like, keep making me mad. So we're gonna become friends with. Kara Carter here because I think she is super adorable and maybe we might see if we can't become a fairy off of her and uh, kind of incorporate supernatural into this a little bit. But until then I am going to go ahead and close this episode out here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Come back next Thursday for the next episode and hopefully she will have this baby have a new friend so we'll really incorporate hanging out with her their friendship is already like really high so hey it's pretty good anyway thank you guys for watching